The goal of this lying down is to relax our sacrum where the sacral chakra is. You can just be feet like this, or if you want, your feet together and open up. Whatever that is more relaxing. Tuck the shoulder blades in, lengthen up the rounds, and gently close in your eyes. Try out the distance of how far do you need your feet to be. Is it really close to you? Or a bit further away so you could relax. Feeling settling down. Welcome to your 60 minute sacral chakra yoga. The sacral chakra is located three fingers below your belly button, or like half a hand below your belly button, where your sacrum is. For women, it's the energy of our womb. The sexuality, the embracing all the emotions, the creativity. And today we are going to explore this. Relax the pelvis, relax the sacrum, relax your lower back. With the sacrum release and relax, we are going to start our breathing exercise. Observe the difference of doing your breathing exercise, exercise lying down. If you want to, you could have one hand on the belly and one hand onto the rib cage. Deeply inhale, expand the ribcage, expand the belly. Exhale, contract the belly, contract the ribcage, pushing all the air up. Deepening the inhale, moving the ribcage, moving the belly, breathing in all the air. Exhale, contract the belly, contract the ribcage, pushing all the air up. On your own pace, deepening the inhale. Belly expand. Deepening the exhale, belly contract. In. With the exhale, relax your lower back, your pelvis, your sacrum bone. On your own pace, deep, long, slow inhale. And exhale. Relax your jaw and your eyebrows. Three more breath. When you exhale, relax your body, letting it grounded on your mat.
One more deep, long inhale. And deep, long exhale, release. If you haven't, bring your feet onto the mat. Hands onto the side of the body. We're just rocking back and forth. So basically, I'm rocking back and forth to use the mat to massage my sacrum. Just shaking, shaking. Keep the breath. Use the fraction to signal your body to relax even deeper. Sometimes we hold on to tensions in the sacrum chakra. For example, in our everyday life, we would like let me finish this email before I go to the bathroom. So I hold tension onto the sacral chakra. Or mm, let me finish this run before I go for a cup of water. So we hold a lot of tension or energetically. Okay, I'm going to cry only when I get home to my bed. So we hold on to all this tension. So we're shaking it out. Could be front and back, could be left and right with your hips. Anything that is releasing tension to the sacrum chakra. Last two breaths in and out. In and out, coming back to stillness. We'll have our hands in our yoni mudra. So you stay there, you join your thumb and you join your second finger as our yoni mudra, which is for a move. So you put it onto the sacrum. The um, space in the diamond is where it will frame the sacrum. Feeling the warmth from your hands. Feeling the love you're giving your sacrum. The relaxation to that bit. No longer holding on any tension. Our sacrum chakra controls or governs our uncontrolled emotions. So letting it flow, flow. If any emotion that comes up throughout the practice, let it be embrace it. Intention setting. Set an intention to the practice. It could be about embracing all the emotions. It could be about holding on no tensions. It could be about embracing your sexuality or feeling the overflowing of the creativity. Feeling the sacrum chakra is a simple, I feel. You can feel in the rest of the blank. With the intention in mind, we're going to sing three on to start the class. Deep inhale. Oh. 
second inhale for Om. Third, inhale for Om. This time, try to feel the vibration in between your mudra, your hands, and feeling the vibration on the sacrum, on your womb, deeply inhale. Oh. Feeling the remaining vibration. Feeling the warmth that you have just spread to your sacral chakra. The little massage that you did with the rocking and with singing of the own Beautiful, we will be very restorative today. I'm going to have hands onto the side, feet hip width distance apart. Moving the hands a bit further away, inhale center. Exhale, drop your knees to one side, releasing the opposing hip. Inhale center. Exhale, draw the knees to the other side. Relax the sacrum, relax the body. Inhale, center. Draw the knees to the left. Relax the outer right hip. Inhale, center. Draw the knees towards the right. Relax the outer left hip. Letting your right hip release. Choose the speed that you want to go on. Releasing the sacrum. You could stay one breath in each pose. Maybe half a breath or maybe two breaths to release the hips and the sacrum. Pick a pace that you feel comfortable. The sacrum chakra, when it's in balance, you will feel overwhelmed with the emotions. Maybe it's the self-judgment, the shame, the guilt, the jealousy, the great letting it all relax and release. Imagine this little massage is to open up the gate of this suppressed emotion. We may often put this into a box. You are massaging the lead to let it relax. Last two breaths in. And out. In. And out. Moving slightly further onto the mat, we're going to warm up our hips. We're going to inhale, bring the left knee into the chest. Exhale, drop the left knee towards the side. You could use your hands to push your left knee down. 
Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, bring the feet back, left feet back to meet the right feet. Inhale, left knee towards the chest. Exhale, drop the left knee open. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, keep the straight leg and bring the feet to meet the right. Beautiful. You all know what to do. Inhale, knees towards the chest. Exhale, drop. Inhale, straight legs. Exhale, feet meeting each other. Keep going on your own pace. Deeply and beautiful and deeply out. Push the right hand onto the right um, pelvis so you're stabilizing it. Keep moving deeply and and deeply out. Keep doing the move, pressing the right hand onto the right hips. So you are sending love. You are stabilizing it. Why you feel the opening on the left hip? The sacral chakra is related to the water element. So imagine you're treading water with the left leg, feeling the movement like water, but also feeling the resistance from the water. So you stay in any pose that makes you feel good. Last deep inhale. And exhale, coming back to the center. Inhale, bring the left knee in towards the chest. Give it a really good hug and squeeze. Because our sacrum chakra is related to water, so we are also massaging our kidney. Bring the and the spins. Bring the right hand onto the left knee. Bringing the left knee onto the other side into a spinal twist. Look towards your left fingers. Bringing your left knee over. When you are here, try to relax your sacrum. Relax your left thighs. Relax your left knee. Relax your left lower back. Relax the sacrum. Two more in. And out. One more in. Exhale, holding the pose and straighten the left feet. Put the left feet onto the ground, feeling this amazing hamstring. Thigh stretch. Slowly coming back towards the center. Hug the left knee. Sending love to the thighs, to the hips, to the sacrum. Really good job. Slowly straighten the legs. Inhale, bring the right knee towards the chest. Give it a really good hug. Thank you. The right hip right thighs for supporting you throughout the week. 
Then we're going to start our circular movement like water. Inhale, bring the right knee towards the chest. Exhale, drop the right knee open towards the side. I want you to put the left hand onto the left thighs or left sacrum. Where is your hip bone? Pressing it down, feeling the ground and where as we work on the right hips and sacrum. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, bring the right feet to meet the left feet like chopsticks. Inhale, bring the right knee towards the chest. Exhale, drop the right knee open. Left hands onto the left sacrum. Pressing it down, feeling the grounding of the whole left body. Then inhale, straighten up the right leg. Exhale, bringing it down on your own pace. Inhale, right knee in. Exhale, open up towards the side. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, chopstick. On your own pace. Keep opening up the hips, drawing this hip opening circles, feeling. It's like you are bringing water, or like you are slowly releasing a knot rather than pulling it. You are using circular motion to massage your hips to massage your thighs. Our hip joint is this ball and socket joint. So drawing circles, moving like this, is really tension relieving. After our hips is relaxed, our pelvis and our sacrum is more open. Very often in the productivity society, we are like, okay, we'll cry when we are home. We'll feel all of this when we have time. But it's kind of like you put a stopper in your upstream. And every time when we hold on to this emotion, it's one rock in this upstream. The more rocks in this upstream, the less water will flow to your downstream. So now imagine you're picking up a rock. Every time when you're cranking the circular motion, you're grinding the rock, letting the emotion come to surface and feel it. Feel it so it can be released and washed down shore. Keep on breathing and feeling all this emotion. Two more breaths in. And out. One more breath in and out. Beautiful job. Hugging your right knee in towards the chest. Sending love, sending warmth to your right hip joint. Telling how good of a job it just did. Now using your left hand, bringing your right knee onto the left side. Right hand open up to a T-shape. Look towards the right hands. Deeply in. And deeply out. Deepening your inhale. 
and deepening the exhale. Relax your right thighs. Relax your right hips. Relax your right lower back. Deepening the inhale. And deepening the exhale. One more in. And out, straight, holding the pose and straighten the right leg. Flex the right toes, feeling the amazing hamstring, thighs, and hip stretch. One more in. And our beautiful bending the knees towards the chest. I want you to hug both knees and relax the lower back onto the mat. Amazing hip opening. Roll towards one side. Coming to a tabletop position. We're going to bring some movement onto our body. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Tuck the toes, open up the hands. Inhale, arch your back, open up the chest, chin up. We're going to hold here for one breath. Try to press the hands away. Press the belly button towards the mat. Really roll the shoulders back and chin up. Exhale, curl from your neck, upper back, knee back, lower back, belly button towards the spine, chin towards the chest, holding here for one breath. Try to press the chin towards the chest, lengthen the back of the neck. Pull the belly button in, open the rest and look towards the belly button. Beautiful, 10 rounds on your own. Deeply in. Really open up the chest and deeply out. Do it on your own pace. You could do it in a very slow motion to feel every micro muscle moving. You could do it in a fluid movement way to feel the opening of the spine. So pick an option that feels good to you. Doesn't matter what other people are doing. You are embracing how you feel. We are all unique. We are all different. Our bodies are all different. We move in a way that we feel good. Deepening the inhale. Beautiful movement when you just close your eyes and feel your body. There's no right and no wrong. Embracing the emotions. Embracing the desire. Embracing your sexuality. So many times we want things and we like, no, this is wrong. Maybe you just want to eat a tub of ice cream tonight. Maybe rather than working out, you just need a yin yoga. Maybe rather than waking up at nine, you just need to sleep in. Maybe rather than I'm supposed to be working hard today in the office, 
you just need a chill day to rest so you could go back and kill it the next day. In today's section, can you have, put a little magic spell and drop using the word should? The should comes with judgment comes with this control or suppression of her desire. Listen to the body and listen to the mind. We are going to do the last round together. Inhale, arch up, look up. Open up the chest and the spine. Exhale, curl and from your neck, upper back, mid back, lower back. Untuck the toes and come to any child pose that makes you feel good. Could be knees open, could be knees together. Relaxing the hips, relaxing the lower back. Relaxing the thighs, relaxing your sacrum and your pelvis. The sacrum chakra, swati shahana chakra. When it's in balance, we feel overwhelmed. We feel all this emotion coming up. But rather than letting it flow, we feel judgment. It could also have physical symptoms that is linked to our reproductive system. Could be having PMS. Could be a hormonal imbalance. Could be the date of our period is just not regular. Or it could be feeling all the over sex drive or just not interested in your partner or yourself sacrum chakra it's all about letting the emotion and letting the desire flow so when it's balanced you feel the movement you also feel because you are embracing the emotion, embracing the desire, you feel alive. You feel creative having all these ideas. So now sending the love to your sacrum, to your pelvis. Embracing whatever that you are feeling. Three more breaths. Relax your hips even more. Letting it sink. No tension. Deepening the inhale. And deepening the exhale. Imagine your emotions. It's like water wave. Letting it flow. Remember the sacral chakra is related to the water element. So imagine you are like this river. You are letting the water flow from the upstream to the downstream. No holding back. Just feeling the water, feeling the amazing flow. Slowly walking the body up. We're going to swing our legs up, coming to Pashimottanasana, grabbing the butt cheek out. The sacrum chakra will also really benefit from our forward bend, anything that is forward bend, because our kidney is at the back 
and we are kidneys related to the water element because our peeing, how to regulate water is in the kidney. So sitting up tall and straight, flex the toes, really pressing your thighs down. Inhale, hands up towards the sky. Exhale, hinges from the hips. Coming forward, 45 degrees. Then grab hold on any part of the feet. Deep inhale, expand the belly. Exhale, contract the belly, getting the belly closer towards the thighs. Closing the rise. This is one option. The second option, if this is really difficult to hold, try to bend your knees and grab hold of the feet. Let's try this. Grab hold of the feet and now kick your feet further away. Doesn't matter if you want to, if you have bike a lot and want to work on your thighs, you try to uh, keep the thighs lengthened. If you simply just want to work on the lower back stretch and releasing your sacrum chakra, you can pick both options. Whatever you are, try to get the belly button to kiss the thighs. Beautiful. Oh my God, once you bend the knees and straighten, you realize how much space you have when you are releasing the body. Super beautiful. Oh my God, I'm so proud of all of the progress that you guys make. Once you release the hips and release the thighs, you can go so much further. You have so much more love. I know this may be really tension relief and so three breath together with me, closing the rise, sinking deep inside. Inhale through the nose, deep breath in, in, in. Sign of Kissing the belly button, kissing the thighs. Inhale through the nose. Ah, one more in. And, ah, beautiful. Inhale, hands up towards the sky. Beautiful. Exhale, hands onto the side. Shake your hips up. You may have tingling feelings towards the feet. This is really good. You are feeling the sacrum chakra, this orange light circulating in the body. I actually wake up today and be like, yeah, today I'm going to wear coral, which is similar to orange. So it's keeping the left leg straight, bend the right knee, putting the right feet onto the left thighs. Now, I'm going to get the butt cheek out. So I'm sitting tall and straight. Lengthen the belly button, lengthen the spine, flex the feet. The trick is to flex the feet to point towards you. So inhale, hands up towards the sky. Lengthen, 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 reach up. Imagine a balloon is pulling you from the bottom of the sacrum to the middle of the spine to the up. Then one more in, look towards your toes. You're trying to kiss your toes and exhale forward. See if you can grab the feet. If you can't bend your knees to grab the feet, yes. Look into the feet deeply in. The goal is to stretch out the back, the lower back. So as long as you are feeling that, you are doing great. I actually feel more on my hamstring than my lower back because of how tight I am. So your body will feel different. Try to kiss your knees. Stick the belly button onto the thighs even more. See if you can bend the elbows and bring the body closer, closing the rise and drop into it. I want you to send the exhale to the left hip. Do the sacrum, release any tension. You are like water. 
Just one more breath in. And exhale, kiss your knees mm -hmm. as much as you can. Then inhale, bring the hands up. Now turn the belly button towards the right, the right knee. And just twist, putting the left hands onto the right knee, right hand back. Yes, beautiful. Lengthen the belly button. Don't um, be slanted. Lengthen, beautiful. And twist low beyond your right shoulders. Deeply in. And, and one last breath. Twist the deepest. Great job. Inhale, hands up towards the sky. Exhale, twist onto the left hand side, hands onto the mat, just a counter twist. Beautiful, slowly coming up, stretching the left feet straight, right feet straight, left knee onto the right thigh, grab the butt cheek out. When you're ready, lengthen the spine, inhale, hands up towards the sky. Exhale, hinges from the hips coming forward, forward, forward. Look towards the toes. Grab hold of the feet or bend your knees to grab hold of the feet. Beautiful. Deeply. And try to kiss the belly button onto the thighs. Or just grab hold of the calf, whatever that you feel is good. Try to keep the lower back straight so you are stretching the lower back. Our bodies are all different. If you are in a five, I invite you to come to a four. We don't need to push. We just need to relax and let go. Relax the thighs. Relax the hamstring. Relax the hips. Imagine your belly button kissing the thighs. Deeply in and deeply out. If there's any emotion coming up, you'll be like, oh my God, this is so difficult. Letting it come. Remember, there's no shoot, so dial back the pose, hold onto the calf if it feels good, or bend the knee if it feels good. If you're holding on tension in your yoga poses, it's the opposite of what we want to do. I want you to relax into the pose. One last breath in. And I'll straighten the arms. Inhale, raise the body of beautiful ladies. Twist towards the left knee, your bend knee. Bring in your right hand outside of the left knee or just grab hold of the left knee and twist. Make sure your spine is straight. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist, look beyond the shoulders, coming back to center, inhale, exhale, twist towards the opposite side, hands onto the mat, feel an, an amazing yummy stretch from the lower left, up, back, slowly coming back to the center, beautiful, time to open up our V shape to honor our wombs, letting our sexuality flow, gripping our butt cheek, sitting tall and straight. Coming back to the intention, flex the toes. I'm going to give you two options. The first option is just relax. Walking forward. The second option is I'm going to be on my tippy fingers. I'm going to try to draw circles. 
So it could be half circles. So I'm rocking my hips, releasing my pelvis in an active way. Oh, today I want to go restorative. So I'm going to inhale, hands up, and just stretch forwards. Pick a pose that serves you and closing your eyes. Well, no matter where you are, deepening your inhale and deepening the exhale, holding no tensions in the body, just letting it relax deeply in. And deeply out. The interesting thing about the Swadishtahana Chakra, the sacral chakra, is that energy will expand when you're feeling free, feeling joyful, feeling that you are completely, a hundred percent yourself. But this energy will shrink when you are feeling, compressing your emotions, using the word should with the judgment, or just not embracing the sexuality, not embracing the feeling. So think about this. When you are allowing it to move this energy will expand and embrace your whole, all the energy, your whole body. When you are suppressing it, it will shrink. So you will feel unenergetic. You will feel there's no inspiration in life. You will feel that there's no drive to do what you want to do. So how, which one will you pick? Slowly rolling yourself up, hands up. Twisting towards the right hand side, belly button towards the right, and just coming forward in the most restorative way, hands onto the side. Trying to get the belly button to kiss the thighs. One more in. And out, inhale, walk the body up, hands up. Exhale, twist towards the right, lengthen, then coming forward, deepening the inhale. Then deepening the exhale. Find the most nourishing way to come to lying on the back with the knees bent. Great job, ladies. We have done a really, really deep hip and sacrum opening. Just a few more poses. Feet hip with this in the park. Hands should still be able to touch the ankle. So touch your ankle for me. We're coming to a bridge. So inhale without lifting the hips up. Just contract the anal muscle and pelvic muscle in, holding it in towards the spine, pulling it up. And holding this muscle slowly, lift your hips, press onto the feet. Up, up, up. 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 Whenever you are comfortable holding it for five, four, three, press the pelvic muscle in and up. Slowly lowering down. Very gentle movement. There's absolutely no rush. Bend the knees towards the chest. Give yourself a really good hug. 
then in feet onto the mat, your tippy finger could still touch the heels. Then inhale up, 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 up. Pelvis up. You are engaging the pelvis, engaging your yawning muscle, pressing it up. And slowly relaxing it down. Bend the knees towards the chest. Give yourself an amazing hug. And just the last round, feet onto the mat. This time, if you want to, after you get up, you could um, put the feet, uh, your hands together, forming a fist underneath your hips. So getting ready without lifting the hips, pull the anal muscle in pelvic floor, in pelvic muscle up, and start lifting the hips up, 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 pressing it up, interlace the hands behind the hips, tuck the shoulders in, pressing the feet down, pelvis up for five, four, three, two, one. Within five breaths, slowly lower down. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees onto the chest. Good job. Give yourself a really big hug. Roll left and right, left and right. So you're massaging your lower back, massaging your sacrum. To massage your sacrum, it may mean that you use your hands to grab your knees and bring your knees further away from the body. So you're massaging the more lower part of the hips, close to the sacrum. Feet onto the mat, hands in T-shaped position. Move the left feet in the middle. Right feet flex up towards the sky. Put the right knee on top of the left. You could stay here or you could hold the right toes behind the left calf. Doesn't matter which one do we do, our bodies are all different. And when you're ready, drop the lower part of the body towards the left. Look towards the right. The ego leg spinal twist. Relax your knees. Relax the thighs. Relax the hips and the lower back. Deeply in. And deeply out. Imagine your body is like a river. You a whole. I am whole. I embrace all my emotions. I am whole. Repeat this affirmation. Knowing that your sacrum chakra it's now activated from the release. I embrace all my emotions. I am whole. One last time. I embrace all my emotions. I and whole. 
Beautiful. Slowly coming back towards the center. You may feel tingling sensations. You may feel energy. Unwind the legs. Right feet in the middle. Left feet flex towards the sky. Putting the left knee on top of the right. Holding it here. Or hook the left toes behind the right calf. Remember to pick a four, not a five. Hands in T-shaped position. Drop the lower part of the body towards the right. Look towards the left. Release your knees. Release the thighs. Release the hips. Deeply in. And deeply out. Draw the attention to the sacral chakra, seeing this orange light growing stronger and stronger there. Repeat the affirmation, I embrace all my emotions. I am whole. I embrace all my emotions. I am whole. I embrace all my emotions. I am Home. One last breath in and out slowly rolling back towards the center, back to our opening position, feet onto the mat, open up the knees, hands in your yoni mudra, the diamond shape. Put it onto the pelvis. Imagine this orange light running in between the diamond shape, growing stronger and stronger. We are going to sing the mantra for our sacral chakra, which is Ram Fam. Om Pham Ma. So it's Ram. So, sorry, it's Ray, Pham, and Om Pham Ma. We're going to sing it together for three times. At the whole time during we are singing, feeling the vibration in your sacral chakra. Coming back to the intention that you have set. Deeply inhale. Chakra feeling this orange energy. Second time, inhale.
I feel relax the hands straighten the legs coming to a short savasana feeling the energy moving this orange color energy spreading from the sacrum to the rest of the body. Embracing the emotion, embracing your desire, embracing your sexuality, being a hundred percent what you want to be. I am whole. I am whole. I am Wiggle the finger, wiggle the toes, bend your knees towards the chest. I want you to have a low, long, loving hug for your body, for your sacral chakra, feeling you now turn into an orange energy ball ready to feel all the emotions, ready to embrace a hundred percent of who you are, ready to emit energy to the world and feeling the energy, feeling the creativity, feeling alive. Slowly roll yourself to the side. Press yourself into a sitting position. One hand onto the heart, one hand onto our sacrum. We are going to say one on and three shanti to give thanks to our body to be grateful for ourselves, to be grateful for each other and sending peace to the earth, deep inhale. Oh, Shanti, Shanti, feeling the warmth in the sacrum and in your heart. I am whole. 
Namaste. Thank you so much for coming to class. <laughs>